So this is Nathan Edelsberg from Found Remote. We're here at MIPCOM and we're really excited to be here with Thor Fridriksen, the uh, founder and owner of QuizUp, which is being uh, sold as a format by NBC Universal International Formats. We're really excited that you're here. And uh, you know we've seen the format everywhere all over MIPCOM. It seems to be getting a lot of buzz. So can you tell us how you came up with the idea for this app originally and how that whole process came to be? Well, that's a, that's quite a story you're asking for, actually. Uh, this is the, yeah, I mean, this has all been an incredible journey. I mean, you know, coming from launching the app less than two years ago into standing here at MIPCOM, uh, creating a TV show with NPC interna NPC international formats. Uh, <laughs> that's just you know kind of you know overwhelming to be honest with you. So it's been there's a lot of things happened in the last couple of years. So uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. And, and what's your background? How did you come up with the idea for the app? So basically, a couple of years ago, I was all into the whole app thing that was happening. I mean, there's been kind of a revolution in how people are consuming entertainment and, and lots of things, and I was very you know fascinated by that. So I founded a company uh, around you know about creating games for for phones, and. I founded it back in Iceland. This is around what about four years ago, and you know I was like determined to create the next killer app. And you know, like like everyone wants to do, it's there's so, sort of a gold rush happening in the in the app industry. Yep. So I did my first app, and I spent a year doing it. It was a beautiful interactive kids interactive yeah cartoon kind of thing, and it failed miserably. Uh, good story, right? <laughs> but this is often how you know things happen. You know we. You know, about four years ago, I was like totally bankrupt. We had a failed uh, product and we didn't know what to do. Uh, but then, you know, somehow when you when you have like painted yourself into a corner and you have to do something, the brilliant ideas come. And that was how QuizUp was born. And we just thought, hey, you know, everyone has these, these phones of theirs and people love trivia. Why isn't there an app that can like in an easy way connect people all over the world so, and have them play live trivia against each other in things that they love. And come to think of it, then there wasn't anything like that, you know, on the market. So we just did it. And it was kind of like a, an overnight success, which has just been, you know, awesome. That's amazing. And can you just explain quickly how the app works and also why, you know, NBC Universal uh, International Formats was interested in it? So basically, quiz up is a place where you can challenge your friends in you know thousands of different trivia topics or you can play against someone around the world so basically let's say that you are a fan of you know let's say a, a, a football team you know I'm a, I'm a big Arsenal fan for example uh, I can go into the Arsenal topic on, on, on quiz up and I can just push play now and I'll be instantly matched with another Arsenal fan somewhere in the world and we'll play like live trivia together and this is just something that didn't exist and people seem to like it's like we found a format that uh, people just loved and that's why quiz up became like the fastest you know uh, selling or downloaded app uh, at the app store uh, at that time ever and we have now over 75 million registered users which is quite a lot and you know with in regards with with uh, the TV show I guess that when we were developing quiz up we always had a TV show somewhere in the back of our mind. And that just, it's like a natural extension. I mean, quiz shows are, are a lot of fun. I loved watching, you know, quiz show when I was young. And I remember when I just, when I just launched Quiz Up and I was sitting in at my living room and I was watching some other quiz show in, on TV. And the host there was like asking a question and the, the, comp, uh, the, the in the in-game, the in-studio in uh, person wouldn't be able to answer it, but I knew the answer. And I was thinking, oh, why am I not you know, in the studio? If it was me who was there, I would know the answer and I would get the money. And I know a lot of people think this way. They're watching quiz shows, they know the answer and they think to themselves, why is it not me in that studio? Yeah. But then I just started thinking, what if some network or some, you know, someone comes up with a format that allows you to do this, that allows viewers to sit, you know, in their couches, watching a, t a game show and being able to interact with it and actually win money from home without doing anything except just knowing the answer. You know, if someone would come up with an idea like that or be able to, to execute it, that would be a total revolution to the, the quiz genre. Yeah. 
couple of weeks later, MPC contacted us and they had seen some press about Quizab and it was kind of a hip, you know, thing. And we met, we met with them and they had, you know, the same ideas that we have. So that's exactly what we're doing. I think that the new Quizab TV show is, is a revolution in, in this genre and, and, and just in TV interactivity overall. And how are you involved with the format? What are, what are you specifically doing here? Are you going to be an EP on the shows? What's, what's your continued involvement can be as an app and technology maker? So yeah, we are, this is not, this is not a partnership where we just hand them the, the brand and say, you know, you go and run with this. So we actually work with a production producer uh, called Jeff Aflof, uh, and we've been, you know, creating uh, the format with MBC, him uh, and his company for a while now. And so what we are, basically what Quizhub is going to do is, this is a partnership. So the app portion of the of the production is going to be in our hands and the reason is you know we have a very proven technological platform we have over you know five billion trivia games played on our platform how is the content populated on the app is it all hand created yeah well we have I think around you know two million questions or something in the database which is a lot of questions. A lot of questions. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically, we have like both. We both do like editorial content where we get contractors to to write really good questions on specific topics. Yep. But people, users of QuizUp are also able to create their own topics. Got so it. let's say that you are a, a fan of something you know very niche that no one else, you know, not that many people at least, you know, it, it's not big enough for us to do an editorial topic about it. They can still create it and have everyone in the world play it. Cool. And this is something we just started doing recently and it's been a massive success. So, you know, the whole world is creating the questions as we go. Great. Although in the TV show, I'll have to add, I mean, it's, there are different rules there because sure. we're going to be playing for money. So it's not going to be crowdsourced questions. <laughs> it's going to be heavily vetted questions and really good ones. But, but all the same, the concept is the same. We, we've created an, an app that's like highly addictive. And it's all about having fun playing trivia. And we have found a way to create a really awesome TV show that involves the app and has the potential of giving the, the viewers a lot of cash in their living room. And this just hasn't been done before, and we're super excited about it. Great. And is there any region in the world that you're most excited about seeing this TV format in? Yes, Iceland, definitely. We're very, no, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the biggest market. But uh, so the U.S. Uh, has uh, ordered that NBC International, uh, no, NBC has ordered 10 episodes, and we're going to be launching those, uh, I guess, in Q1 2016. And then we just got an order from ITV. Cool. which uh, was great in the UK. So, I mean, we just, QuizUp is all over the world already. Right. So we think it's a suitable format for, for all markets. And I know that the producers, you know, develop the format in a way where it is easy to both have it huge and epic, but also for smaller markets to make it scalable, but still feel, you know, huge and epic. So, so there's nothing in particular, but we're starting with the US. Great. And yeah, and last question, you know, I know mostly, TV shows get created and then they try and make a second screen app afterwards. Do you have any thoughts on what works better and you know how it's been different for you in the way that this show was created? I think that you're right. You know, I don't think there are many examples of of an app being turned into a primetime TV show. It's usually the other way around uh, because the IP is made uh, on the TV. It's, it's, I think it's one of the reasons is it's, it's easier to create a brand on TV than it is on an app just because the exposure is, is more on TV. But QuizUp is a pretty well-known brand uh, in many markets. And what I think what's different here is because the show is so involved with the app. It's not just a, a companion app. It's not yeah. just a, some, some second screen experience that's it's like an afterthought. It's built upon this you know, vibrant, fun, dynamic game that already exists, already has millions of games every single day. Uh, and to build a TV show on top of that just makes much more sense than trying to do something from scratch and start to with, uh, with no users to start with and no proven technology. So I think, I think one of the big reasons why NBC wanted to, to join with us was first of all just because of our user base, which is quite young and a good demo, like yeah. the millennial you know thing that every, every broadcaster is looking for, but also because we have proven technology because yeah. we have seen examples of of shows that try to do interactive things and the, it hasn't been very successful, especially on, on the technology part. So yeah. 
we have that experience. Great. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And congrats. Thank you.